Uh, this is our gentle yoga practice and pranayama. I have three nice pranayamas for us today to help us get a little more energy and a little more focus. The postures in our gentle yoga practice today are focused on the hips, hip opening. So I hope you'll enjoy that and have a beautiful gait all day long after this practice today. Let's start in with a seat that feels good for you. So uh, to, for today's practice, I like two blocks, one long strap, really long one, and then a blanket, okay? And let's start in by sitting on one of our blocks. Just getting a little bit higher up and then allow your pelvis to tilt slightly forward, your knees to relax. We are gonna be coming into bound angles, so if that feels more comfortable for you right now, Certainly, you can take that posture now if you would like on your um, block. We'll just put our hands to our legs and lower the chin to the throat. And then take circles to the right. And if it doesn't feel comfortable bringing your head up and back, you can just stick to right and left. That's okay, too. You don't need to take a complete circle. You can just be tick-tocking through the front. Just loosening the vertebrae in the neck. Last one in this direction. Now bring the chin back to the throat and start again going left first. If you're taking a full circle, inhale when the head is high, exhale when the chin is to the throat. One more in the same direction. And come back to neutral, bringing your hands on your thighs. Lift your head and then pull your shoulders up really close to the ears. It feels really tight, right? And exhale, drop them. Good. Three more times. Lift them up. Squeeze them up. Inhale. Maybe even hold the inhale. And then exhale. Feel so much better when they drop, right? Two more. The difference between tension and relaxation. Last one. Ah, oh, that feels really nice to release the shoulders down the back. Our mantra today is Loka Samasta Sukinu Bhavantu. May all beings everywhere be happy and free, and may our actions contribute to the happiness and the freedom for all beings. So we chant that together. We'll bring our hands to our heart, and if you don't know it, you can hum along or just sit and enjoy the vibration from everybody else chanting. Lokaha samasta sukinu bhavantu. Loka Samasta Sukinu Balantu. Om Shanti Shanti. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. May there be peace, peace, peace all around us, starting with inside of us. And releasing the hands. Today's pranayama practice that we'll start with, we have a few of them during the class, as we usually do. Two different types of pranayamas. This one is to help us to gain a little energy in our practice today and to gain focus. So it's a simple practice of inhale, hold, don't hold too long, three, the count of three is perfect, and then exhale. That's all it is. We can try one together. Inhale, inhale for your own length, hold, 
chin comes slightly in towards the throat, Mula Bandha engages, lift the pelvic floor, just hold to the count of three. And then exhale. Like that. All right, here we go. We'll be here for about a minute. Inhale. Hold for your own count. And then exhaling when you're ready. Continue on, inhaling, holding, and exhaling. Remember not to hold the inhale too long. Count of three is perfect. As you inhale, divine energy approaches you. You hold the inhale, you hold divine energy within you. As you exhale, you approach divine bliss. Inhaling, divine energy approaches you. Holding, you're at one with divine energy, universal positivity. Exhale, you approach that universal energy of divine bliss. And then releasing. Natural inhale and exhale. And let's try one more round of the same. Ready? Begin. Remember what it feels like to have tension in the shoulders. You want them to be dropped and relaxed. As you close your eyes, we're here a little longer now, about two minutes. Maybe you can even see yourself inhaling, approaching. Beautiful, divine energy approaches you, excuse me. As you inhale, what does that look like? A bright light? Everybody you know and love, holding the breath, divine energy stays within you. What does that look like? And then exhaling, you approach divine bliss. What does that look like to you? Twenty seconds left. Inhaling, divine energy approaches you. Holding the inhale, you keep it in. Exhale, you approach beautifying energy. And releasing the pranayama, opening the eyes if they were closed. And we're going to move on to our backs with our, our, you can use your blanket under your head if you'd like for a little more support. And we're gonna grab our strap and open our hips, start to get a good opening. And then we'll add on to that as we move along in this session. So laying down somewhere comfortable. If you need something under one knee or you need a prop, please take that now. And make sure if you're using a strap with the buckles, you don't have the buckles dangling, they might hit you. Take your strap around the ball of the right foot. We're gonna do a little work to open the hamstring. So we're going to bring our leg down a little bit and push against the strap at the same time with our arms pulled. 
And if you can, you can get a little closer, bringing the foot a little closer to the head, a little closer. But notice we're stretching hamstrings. So there's a push and a pull going on. We're pulling and we're pushing. And we're breathing. Don't forget to breathe. Three more breaths here. Keep the push and the pull. This is a wonderful way to activate a, the Golgi tendon organ in our body, which is a sensor that helps us to release tension in the muscles, release tight muscles. One more. Nice. Now just release it for a moment and shake it out. And then gently replace your strap and get, see if you can pull it in just a little bit further. You might have gotten a little more flexibility in the hamstring. So without pulling, just enjoying that freedom in the back of the hamstring. Press your heel up. No pulling of the hand. It's just holding on. Left hand's at the thigh. Left heel is pressing forward. Eight breaths here. Just a soft hold on the straps. You don't have to pull. One more breath. And then bring your hand a little closer to the strap, leaving your head down, and slowly open the, the leg to the right. Don't let your left hip pop up. And so just stay where you can. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here, maybe it's here. You could even use your blocks under your foot if you'd like. You want to keep your left hip down. Eight breaths. Inhale fully from the belly. Fill it up through the ribs into the collarbones. And then exhale it all out. One more, one more big breath here, active legs, both legs are squeezing, strong, using the muscles. And then very carefully soften your right knee, bring it up. Take your strap into your left hand, extend your right arm out. And this time your right hip is gonna come off the floor. So you're gonna take a little twist over to your left, but turn your head right. And then slowly soften your right knee. Bring it back, bending the knee. Stretch your long leg. Oh, feel the difference between each, the right leg and the left leg. Your right leg may feel about six inches longer. And then opening the eyes, let's take the strap around the ball of the left foot and let's try a little of that push pull. So your foot can be here, 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 anywhere you're getting a nice hamstring stretch where you can press the heel of your left foot forward and pull down, but at the same time, push away with the ball of the foot. So it can be here, it can be here. You wanna feel a sensation going on in the calf muscle and the hamstring, but not pain. So be aware. Sensation, but not pain. Light sensation. A mild stretch going on. It's 
slow breaths. If you want to slow your breath down even more, you can start in with your ujjayi breath, constricting the throat slightly on the inhale and the exhale. Take one more breath here. And then soften, relax the leg a moment. Remove the strap and then take the strap on the ball of the foot again and see if you can just pull it a little bit further without pain. No holding on the strap, no pulling. Right hand on your right leg. Pressing down, you don't even have to hold on to the strap at all. You just press your leg up. This is breath four of eight. Feel the breath in the back of your leg. Breathe through the back of the knee, breathe through your hamstring. Breathe through the calf and the Achilles. And then bring your hands onto your strap once again. And we're going to go left. Now, if you would like, you may prop yourself with your blocks. Bring your blocks over to the left if they're not going all the way down. If your leg is not going all the way down. That's fine. Get your strap comfortable. Make sure it's flat. Slowly, with your right hand on your thigh, open the left leg. Then you can prop yourself. You can lift it up more if you'd like, but you want your right whole hip down, not lift it. But now start your eight breaths. Inhale, abdomen, ribs, collarbones. Exhale, collarbones, ribs. Abdomen. Both legs are very active. The quadriceps are strong and tight. And active. Keep pressing down with your right hand on your right upper thigh. Nice, take that left leg up. You can soften the knee to do that first. Then take a hold of your strap with your right hand. You can move your blocks over to the right if you'd like and reach all the way over to the right. Turn your gaze left. Your left side of your bottom is up. Feel a nice stretch through the chest. Get your chin a little away from your chest, turning as far left as possible, but without tension. Right leg remains active. Right foot can be flexed still, but it has turned to the right. One more big breath here. And then slowly coming up, soften your left knee. And see if you did a good job getting the right and left leg to be about the same length. Turn your palms up, chin comes towards the throat, shoulder blades come together on your back. And feel your right leg and your left leg. Next, we'll open our eyes and bend our knees. Take your left leg in closer towards your chest. 
Now, slowly open the hip, externally rotate your left hip. So your right ankle is just above, sorry, your left ankle is just above your right knee on the thigh. We're gonna reach behind the right thigh and give a nice pull in. If this feels very easy to you, you can bend your right knee more if you have deep knee flexion and you can hold on to the shin and pull in a little more. Otherwise, monitor it. Now, if, this, if it's hard to reach your hands behind your thigh, you can also take a strap and take it here till you feel a good stretch. Both toes are active. Both heels are active. So you have flexed feet. Toes first here. Pull the belly button down to the floor. Five more breaths for a total of eight. You can press your left elbow at the inner left thigh, pressing it slightly forward to get a little more hip mobility. This practice today will create great hip mobility for you, help you to stretch your piriformis, which can squeeze a sciatic nerve, help to relieve low back pain, and Today, we will also open hip flexors. Two more breaths. Keep your right heel up, if you can, unless that you're holding on to the shin. Good. And then slowly remove your hands from behind the right thigh and bring your right foot down to the floor. Now extend your arms out in a T sh shape. Walk your right foot, the one that's touching the floor, walk it in a giant step over to the right. And slowly lower your both knees to the left. Now, if you have knee pain, you can take your left foot off of the right leg and turn your head right. Slowly clo closing the eyes or lowering, lowering the lids. Just watching your breath rise and fall in the body. Four more breaths. Three more breaths. Feel a nice stretch on the outer hip and the IT band. Areas that can be very tight. Our emotional level today may release some things we might have been stuck in our hips. Hips are a natural storehouse for emotions. And then opening the eyes, remove your left foot and take both knees back up. This time, bring the right leg in towards your chest. We're gonna open the right hip. So externally rotate the right hip. We'll do that in two separate motions. Bringing your right ankle just above the left knee. Slowly lift the left leg, reach your hands behind the left thigh if possible. If you need more of a stretch, you can flex both feet, which we'll be doing anyway, but you can pull your, take your hands on your left shin and pull it in a little more. You can also take your right elbow to the inner right thigh and press forward. Towards the back of your mat or towards your left heel. Now, if you're holding on behind the thigh, try to lift your left heel to the height of the knee. Four more breaths. There's a really steady pull going on here. No pain, but you might feel some sensation in your hips. Good, one more breath. And then releasing the hands behind your left leg, take the left foot down, opening up your right thigh a little bit more. Walk your left foot a giant step to the left and very carefully and cautiously listening to your left knee, lower both knees to the right 
And again, if your left knee says, ouch, in any way, shape, or form, take the right foot off and turn your head left. Palms are turned up. Shoulder blades are both on the floor. Feel the beautiful breath rising and falling. Divine bliss approaching you, you approach, approaching divine bliss. One more breath. Now remove your foot from the leg and then gently bring the knees up. We're going to take both knees in now, apanasana, holding on to the shins, pressing down. If you can't get your hands around the shins, you can always hold on to the thighs instead. Chin comes very close to the chest. Shoulders are on the floor. Pressing down on your shins or the backs of the thighs. Feel the low belly becoming hollow. Press the belly button down to the floor, stretching out your low back. This is an excellent stretch for low back pain. One more breath. And then take the soles of the feet to the floor and roll to your right side and gently come up to a seat. Go slow, stop and breathe a moment, especially if you get dizzy coming up. And we're going to grab our two blocks, please. I'm going to take a bound angled pose. So we take our soles of our feet together and you can prop your knees here. You can prop them up here if you'd like, either way. If you don't need a prop, you can just have them open. Knees dangling a little in the air, if that feels comfortable for you. I'm gonna prop mine on low octane today, uh, the lowest setting. And we're gonna bring the heels in just a little bit closer. And after you do that, lift your bottom, stick your bottom out behind you. So you tilt your pelvis slightly forward. We're going to start with some circles. So exhale, go right. Let your chin come towards your throat. And then come back to the left. Let your chin come up. Over to the right, come down, over to the left and up. Good. Two more in this direction, exhaling, lowering. Inhale, come up. One more in that direction. And then come back to neutral and change the direction, going left. And then right, left, and then right. If you feel any tightness, you can move your feet forward, move your blocks forward. Two more in this direction. One more. And then come back to neutral. All right, when we're in neutral, we're going to take our hands. You can walk your feet forward just a little bit more to open the legs. So you're opening the distance between the heel and the pelvis. Hands on the shins. Inhale, lift your heart, roll your shoulders back, lift your chin. Exhale, round everything. Look into your navel. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen, extend the spine. Exhale, forward flexion. Inhale, and exhale. One more in each direction. Now 
Now come back to neutral and take your right hand over to the right and left arm reaches up and over. Just five breaths here, gazing forward. Keep pressing your left sits bone into the floor. And inhale, coming up, take your left hand down, stop and breathe, one complete breath. And then take your right arm up and walk your left hand over, creeping the fingers along. Press your right sits bones into the floor. One more breath. Inhale, come back to the center and take your legs just a little bit longer in front. We're going to practice a pranayama that helps us to remove mucus from the sinus area and maybe down in the throat and start to get into the chest as well. And we're going to go very slow. It's Kapalabhati. Excellent one for ejecting illness from and toxins from the system. Also great for ejecting negative emotions or negative energy, negative thoughts. So it looks like this. We inhale. And then we exhale. Belly comes back to spine. But we're going very slow. We're not going with great force. We're just, it's a continuous exhale. Slightest bit like you're sneezing. Breathing in through the nose, breathe out with me. Pressing the belly button back to the spine. Ready to keep trying? I'm gonna try this for one minute. You can go even slower than I go, or you can go a little faster if you'd like. That feeling of releasing everything but no longer serves you. On a physical or emotional level. Nice and slow. If it doesn't make you dizzy, you can go faster than I am. 20 seconds left. Make this your last one. Make it a long one. Good. Bring your hands back to your shins. Hold on, close your eyes. Pull your chin to your throat and breathe naturally. Start to regain your ujjayi breath. So slight constriction of the glottis. Imagine you're breathing through the back of your neck. You should be able to hear the breath. Both the inhale and the exhale. And then slowly open the eyes and we'll remove the blocks for now. Keep them nearby. Extend your right leg long and pull the left heel in towards the groin. So you have one block here if you'd like to prop your left knee. If you need to, you may. If it doesn't feel comfortable taking your right leg all the way straight, you can prop your right leg too. So this is where your blocks really come into handy, uh, into use, I should say. Take your right foot very, very active. So flexing the right foot. We're going to take a side bend. Take your left arm up and over 
keeping your gaze forward for three breaths, and we'll turn our gaze up for three breaths. Feel the whole body breathing. Full big breaths. One more breath. Now slowly turn your gaze up to the sky as you open your rib cage a little bit more. Rolling your ribs to the sky, rolling your heart to the sky. Two more breaths. Flex your right foot. Even open the toes of your right foot. Nicely done. Then come back to the center. Remove the block if you are using it and bend your right leg, taking your left leg long. Right heel comes toward the groin. Again, if you need to prop it, you can. You can place it on a block. Left palm goes up. Reach your right arm up and over, keeping your gaze centered for three breaths. One more breath. Active arms, active legs. Keep your pelvis stable with the active legs. Now's the time to turn your gaze up and turn your heart to the sky. One more breath. Bring your right hand down and turn the head back to the center. Now we're going to stretch the right leg long and lean slightly forward. You're going to lift your left knee, but this time take the foot behind you. So carefully the foot comes behind you. You might wanna prop your knee a little bit on a blanket if it feels sore or even your ankle if you need. You're welcome to use the blanket. And this is gonna get into the back part of your hip, the QL area that really holds your hips tight sometimes. So it's the muscle group that connects your, the bottom of your ribs to the top of your pelvis. Take your right arm long, and then slowly take the arm, left arm up and over and start to turn your gaze up as you reach long through the left side. So you're probably feeling this in your low back on the left. How low you go, how long you reach. Think about this as horizontal energy. So you're inhaling through your left toes, through your knee, out your left finger. As much as you like to reach, that's up to you. As low as you'd like to go, as long as you'd like to go. This is a very big stretch, I know. When you add your breath, it becomes yoga. If you're not breathing consciously, it's just calisthenics. Last breath here. And release your left arm. Stop and breathe. And remove your blanket if you were using it. Stretching the left leg long now. You're going to take the right leg behind you. Lean a little to your left to do that. You might wanna take your blanket under your right ankle and or right knee to give a little more cushion to it, depending what kind of floor you're on. Make sure the knees are very far apart. Again, if you have knee flexion issues or ha tight hammies, go ahead and bend your left knee or put your block under your knee or pillow. Reach the left arm long. Right arm up and over. You'll feel the stretch right on the right side now. Between your bottom rib, turn your gaze up and your right hip. Again, come back to that beautiful horizontal energy. Breathe into your right heel, through your right knee, into your right hip, and out through your right fingertips. Four more breaths. Lower your shoulder like we did at the beginning of our session today. Don't pull your shoulder towards your ear. Or you might get numb fingers. Lower the shoulder down the back.
Last breath here. Inhale, rise slowly. And let's take, lean back, take your right leg out. Right, and you can bring your feet a little bit closer together. You can use your blocks for this forward fold in Upavishta Konasana. You can put them right under your knees if you'd like. Heels extend out, inhale, lengthen spine. Exhale, walking your hands halfway forward. Move your sit bones a little bit. Lift one, rock on them. Good. This might be far enough. You might say, yes, I've arrived. This is where I want to be. Maybe you can go a little bit further. Go as far as you can, can. And when you've hit your limit of how far you can go, pull your chin in towards your throat. Hands can be holding on to the feet or stretching in front of you. Three more breaths. Keep your feet very active. Toes are separate. Big, active feet, active legs. Inhale, rise. Nice. And bring your hands behind you for a gentle back bend. Fingers facing back. Lift your heart. Breathe in. Breathe out through the mouth. Pull the shoulder blades together on your back. Two more breaths. One more breath. And bring your chin to your throat. Stop for a moment. And bring your legs together very slowly. I like to start by bending my knees, moving like I'm 100 years old. <laughs> Bringing them together slowly. They've been open a long time. So do be kind to your legs. I hope you're already feeling some wonderful opening for your hips. So we're going to come down for a flowing back bend and then a very gentle inversion today. So laying down on the floor, bend your knees. Reach your hands towards your heels. You might get close with your middle finger or even touch. You want to get close or touch just so that you can measure the distance from your heels to your bottom to make it comfortable when you come up. What is comfortable supposed to look like? That when you come up, your ankles are under your knees. They're not way back here or they're not way in front because if they're in the front, you're just going to feel it all in your hamstrings. So you want your ankles to be under your knees. On your inhale, lift your bottom. You're welcome to put your block between your thighs. It really helps to use your adductors. Lift your arms up nice and high over your head. And then exhale, lower everything down at the same time. Inhale, come up. Reach up, arms overhead. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, rise. And exhale, lower. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Big inhale. And exhale. Our neutralizer today, you can grab both of your blocks, is bound angle, but supta baddha konasana, reclined bound angle. It will help us to neutralize our back after those back bends. Pull the chin in towards the throat. 
You're welcome to prop your knees or maybe you don't need a prop. Take one more breath with me. And then bring the knees back up to neutral. So you take your block under your bottom, right under the sacrum. So right under the bony part of the bottom, not up here under the lumbar spine, right under the bony part of the bottom. Pull your knees in towards your chest and you should feel a nice stretch in your low back. So your low back is not being supported by the block, just the sacrum. Inhale, lift your legs, flex your feet up. Give a good stretch. Hands can be on your thighs or on the floor, palms down. Two more breaths, keep pressing up through the heels, active legs, toes are active, legs are active. One more breath. And bend the knees, lift your bottom, move the block and stretch your left leg long. Pull the right leg in and take outer circles, outer circles, big outer circles, go all the way over and open all the way to the right. One more circle going out. And then change the direction, take it in to the left. And one more in this direction. So four or five, depending on how swiftly you're moving. Nice, and then relax the right leg. Good, let's try the left leg. Pull the left leg in towards your chest and start by going left first. Big circles all the way over. Take one more in this direction. And let's change the direction. Right, one more in this direction. Bring it in and then let it go. Find a neutral spine, separate your feet as wide as you can. Palms are facing up, lift your head and then pull your chin towards your throat and lower your neck on the floor. A gentle Shavasana, starting with the breath. Inhale, left nostril only without using your hands. Stop at the top for a moment and then exhale through the right. Inhale, right. Stop at the top and exhale left. Inhale left. Stop at the top 
Exhale, right. Now, no stopping. Inhale, right nostril. Exhale, left. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. And exhale slowly through the left nostril. Breathing naturally, inhaling and exhaling. Feel the lightness of the body, the lightness of the hips. Your body is so light, it's like a feather. Like a cloud. Visualize each part of the body as light. We slowly start to come back into the space once again by wiggling our toes and your fingers. Listen to any sounds around you, bringing you back a little more externally focused. Feel your breath. Take a big breath in, breathe out through the mouth. And stretch your body in any other ways. Feel comfortable to you. You're done, bend your knees and roll over to the right, taking three breaths on your right side. One more breath. And press down with your left hand, gently coming up. And we'll find a seat for closing mantra today. So I'll choose again a block. Hands at the heart center, Anjali Mudra. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Inhale. Oh, 
Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. I wish you happy hips. Thank you for allowing me to lead your practice today. Om Shanti.